content creators hello and welcome back to another video if you're new here what's up my name is erica welcome to my crib just kidding i never do that hope you guys like this video like my vibe hopefully you decide to subscribe by the end of this video it'd be really exciting i would appreciate it so much i've been loving that my channel's been growing consistently um you know it's been a slow and steady pace but we're getting there guys we're getting there i love it um today we are back for a new favorites video i am excited because i love the fall i know it's a little bit late in the fall season for a favorites vid but that's just how life happens sometimes um i mean the other day it was like 70 something degrees so i don't know this fall is a bit of a crazy one in terms of weather so we're gonna see what happens with all of that but i'm excited i have a handful of products to show you um definitely a lot more clothes i feel like compared to some of my other videos and definitely a lot of products that like aren't necessarily seasonal that like can transition into the winter or can just be part of like your staple routine style products if that makes sense so let's dive in to kick us off, we are going to be talking about Tower 28. It is not a secret that I love Tower 28 in terms of their makeup and beauty products. They're probably one of my favorite brands, if not currently my favorite brand. I almost exclusively use their makeup at this point, besides like for like when it comes to eye makeup. Um, but this new product has been changing that already a bit. So Tower 28 came out with a new mascara. It is pretty good. I do not have any mascara on right now, so it's actually great because I can give you a show and tell. I love, if you can see, you can see the brush. It's a nice curve to it, which I feel like is really nice to get in the lashes, give you that like fan effect that you want. I mean, as you can see, even just from putting on just a little bit, you already see the difference between my eyelashes. I just really am obsessed. I, yes, I know I've got some pretty decent eyelashes to begin with. And look at that. I love it. I love that it gives you a nice full like fan, but it doesn't like really take too much. You don't have to like be caking on tons and tons and it's really nice. It doesn't really flake. Um, I just really like the formula and what I thought was really interesting is that this mascara actually won awards in the beauty and makeup world before it even hit shelves. I don't know how that's possible, but I was really excited when I finally got my hands on it and I've been loving it ever since I started using it. Another thing for beauty that I've been loving is this conditioner. This is the Living Proof Curl Conditioner. I do know that Living Proof is a bit on the pricier side, and I did get this from Marshalls, but I do think that this is a, pro a type of product that would be worth a little bit more of that investment. I just find that when the temperatures change really quickly, like they have this like fall into wintery craziness, that my curls really, really struggle for a few weeks trying to figure out what to do with themselves because of the drastic change. This has been really helpful. It's very, very moisturizing. So if your hair is like mine and it likes like that thick kind of moisture-y um, pro like based products, this would be for you. If your hair is not good with heavy products, then I would stick away from it. But for mine, it really, really hydrates my curls. This is another Marshall's find. This is the Curly Pudding by Miss Jessie's. It is also not a secret that I like Miss Jessie's products. I've been using them now for like a couple of years, um, kind of testing which ones I do and don't like. And luckily I keep finding some of them on sale at places, say, you know, like Marshall's where you can get, you know, bougie on a budget. The Curly Pudding has been really nice and I especially have been liking it. As you can see, I'm doing the low bun. That's been my kind of go-to hairstyle lately, especially when I'm like busy and traveling for work. It's very like low maintenance, but I think especially using the Curly Pudding, it helps to really slick it down um as you can see i don't have any right now because you can see my little my little baby hair is kind of fuzzed out but i'll post some pictures here of when i do have it it really just helps to really slick it down but it doesn't necessarily create that shell that hard shell that you can get from like gels so i've been loving it because it still creates that like very slick sleek look but without like feeling like you're wearing a helmet now though this isn't officially a beauty based product, I feel like health, wellness, and beauty kind of, you know, fall into one another. I've been loving these vitamins. And I know that's probably kind of silly, but these are the um, black and elderberry vitamins by Nature's Truth. I've been loving them because they're definitely like really strong for immunity. I mean, they've got vitamin C, zinc, they've got elderberry, which is really good for fighting like cold and flu symptoms. And you just take two of them and as you can see, they're cute little vitamins. I actually haven't taken them today, so let me flavor delicious with my job i go in and out of schools a lot i'm on the road a lot my sleep definitely suffers for a few months of the year and when it's my busy season like this i find that a type of immunity strengthening a product really helps me i luckily have not gotten sick i've gotten you know the handful of like congestions here and there but i'll take these and they're fine when i'm not in my busier season and when it's not cold or flu season i've been taking one a day compared to the two which is a serving size i still find that they're helping me stay you know a bit healthier but definitely when it's 
cold and flu season like now I am taking two a day another side of slightly more wellness but now we're on the fitness wellness side based product is my greens by beam I have been loving this formula this is their super greens and specifically the apple cider flavor has had me getting excited every single day to take my greens i've made it actually kind of like part of like my nighttime routine you know sitting down having a glass of greens real quick even though i've been busy i've actually been bringing this with me like when i was up in my mom's in rochester um you know not too long ago i brought them with me because it helps me stay healthier it helps with your skin helps with digestion taking greens in general helps you also get in your micronutrients so for example i'm not able to eat many vegetables right now because Unfortunately, that's just the craziness of traveling a lot for work. This helps me still make sure I'm getting in kind of greens and micronutrients that you do get from eating your vegetables. So absolutely obsessed. The apple cider flavor is insane. I bought three tubs and I am going to try and see if I can buy some more before they are out of stock because it is a limited edition flavor, but they have other ones. I think like pink lemonade, they have a chocolate one. Um, I've only ever tried the apple cider, but I definitely think if any of those, if any of their other flavors are half as good as this i'm definitely very excited because they are so so delicious now another fitness supplement brand and product that i've been loving is gorilla mode by gorilla mind now gorilla mind is a supplement company by um his name is derek his account name is more plates more dates he is huge in youtube and huge in like the fitness industry he's very science-based when it comes to his approach in fitness and supplements and so he completely designed his own pre-workouts i will say i mean this pack is technically one serving it's one to two servings i have had times where i took the entire pack i've had times where i took half the pack both times had a great workout the entire pack has 350 milligrams of caffeine, so it definitely is very high in caffeine. Even the half serving is 175, which a lot of other pre-workouts are around 200 milligrams of caffeine. So it's very high in caffeine, but what's nice is that there's no beta alanine. So you don't necessarily get that tingly, jitty, like jittery feeling. You just kind of all of a sudden start to feel like, oh, I need to start moving. Like that's how I feel. I just feel like I'm starting to kind of twitch out a little bit, but not like because like my skin is going to peel off my face, you know? Um, they actually have a really great deal with like a starter pack where you can try five of the different flavors and with a shaker bottle within the pack they give you 10 packets two of each flavor that they send you so it's nice that you can try a handful of the flavors so it's a nice way to kind of get introduced to the brand and start to kind of test their product but also test various products not just the one like formula different flavors as well now though that product does not have beta alanine i am a favor of beta alanine and that tingly jittery feeling that you get for when you're taking pre workout so one thing that I have been loving that does have beta alanine in it is ghost energy drinks. I've talked about ghost energy here and there, but this new flavor, or it's not new, but it's new to me, but this flavor, Blue Raspberry Sour Patch, oh, it is so delicious, guys. I really cannot stress enough, enough how much I loved this drink. Um, within the can, it's got 200 milligrams of caffeine, so it's pretty high in caffeine, and you know, it's a 16 ounce can. You guys know I like a thick 16 ounce can compared to the, the more petite, like 12 ounce cans. I don't know why, but I just do. I usually start drinking it before my workout and like when I'm doing my mobility and only sip on it a little bit throughout my workout. Usually I wanna switch into water because I don't necessarily want as much carbonation still, but highly, highly recommend it. Now moving completely out of fitness, you guys know I'm a fan of bevies. I've been loving this beer by Genesee Brewing. I feel like I've talked about Genesee Brewing every few months or so, especially after I go home, I usually find something else to bring back. This is one of their more limited, limited flavors because it is for the you know holiday season time. It's the Cran Orange Keller beer. Um, it's delicious. It's kind of on the lighter side of a beer, so it's like not very high in alcohol percentage, but also then that's nice because it doesn't give you that full belly feel that you get when you have some heavy beers. Um, it's really nice and it's easy to drink. I know I had a few of them the other night as I was kind of hanging out with myself. Um, and just recommend if you're looking for a kind of different beer to try. I do know Genesee isn't necessarily like a very common, common brewery. Um, I think you can find them mostly in New York, especially upstate New York, or maybe even like Pennsylvania. Um, but unfortunately, I don't know how far they go throughout the entire country. If you guys have been here before, you know I'm a big Chobani fan, specifically Chobani oat products. I found another absolute banger. So this is going to be their Chobani oat coffee creamer in the flavor gingerbread it is literally so good it is definitely limited for like the holiday ish season it came out a few weeks ago so i can't imagine that they're gonna stop it anytime soon it'll definitely roll into christmas time i can't imagine if you think of gingerbread you think of 
Christmas in my opinion but I'm happy that they brought this out a little bit earlier I do like gingerbread when it comes to flavors of coffee so I feel like it's nice to kind of spice up your coffee in terms of calories they're pretty low in calories um let's say one tablespoon officially is the size and that's only 25 calories I mean if you're not like making your coffee pure white then you're gonna be okay calorie wise um I only use like a splash or two and so you know add 50 calories maybe 75 to like your black coffee and it's nice because you have a nice flavor but it's not super heavy like coffee creamers can be I think because it's oat based instead of like dairy based if you guys have been watching my videos for a while or following me on instagram you know i've been pretty big into reading especially the last few months i am currently on a reading streak i've read every single day since the first of august and i'm so proud of myself because i really wanted to try and get back into reading and i've done it i'm 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 a bit of a reader now even if it's just five pages i've literally read every single day and i'm just so proud of myself right now the series and author i've been loving is by sarah j mass and the first series i found by her is a court of thorns and roses it's currently have five books and she's actually writing a sixth book right now it is so good it first book is a little bit slow and it does take you a while to get into it but then after that i was hooked I was absolutely hooked. I know a few months ago, I think I had a time lapse of me reading the book and I was literally just like, like not being dramatic, Jenny just so focused and so into it. The second series I've started by her is called Crescent City. It is very slow to start with, but then once you're in it, it's really good. I'm currently on the second book. It is a fantasy series and I've never really considered myself a fantasy fan. I mean, in my adult life, I'm definitely more into like historical fiction, personal development books, um, like crime, dramas things like that when it comes to books but then also the good old colin hoover romance but these fantasy books are really good and though they take me a while to get into once i'm in i am hooked this picture is from when i was finishing the first book within the crescent city series and oh my gosh i don't think i've ever cried so much in a book a few brands i've been loving when it comes to clothes one of which is adidas i've been a big adidas stand the last few months it seems like everything i'm buying is more adidas compared to like nike especially i've been loving in general again the low bun hat on for the gym it's been my go-to look i love this hat it's definitely a weird kind of very beigey color it's nice because it's very neutral especially for fall going with those like browns greens dark oranges i wouldn't usually wear it with like a bright orange like this but this hoodie also is absolutely stunning it's not too heavy so it's still on the lightweight side but it's so comfortable at the same time and i love that it's got like an actual fully embroidered logo compared to like the seal presses i love the tonal branding guys i feel like i've been going on about it the last few months but i'm definitely moving away from things that are super in your face with the branding i love it's color on color i just think that's something about that looks very sleek the monochrome tonal it's lovely and again it's not super hot or thick or you know too heavy so it's a nice kind of transitional or layering sweatshirt as well perfect for going to the gym going out put a jacket over it because it's still again not too thick another adidas that i've been obsessed with are these shoes now these are the aster or astere i'm not sure how you pronounce it i've been loving them i know i feel like everyone and their sister nowadays is into like the dad sneaker and i definitely wasn't one to hop on it too early on but when i saw these oh my goodness i did go through a couple different colors until i finally decided which ones i liked and i thought these ones were nice because you know from the front they're pretty neutral from the side okay but then the back has a little bit more color going on so i just love them they're so comfy and super lightweight on the actual adidas website they have like over 20 different colors there's still tons of options so if you don't necessarily like this exact coloring but you like the style of the shoe so many colors to choose from as we also know it is loungewear season i mean loungewear season is every season in my opinion but especially in the fall and winter when it's getting colder getting cozier you want to be lounging about maybe layering up and down i have absolutely been loving american eagles airy so airy is now kind of its own brand outside of american eagle though initially it was under american eagle but i think they are kind of two separate entities really now Aerie has some incredible loungewear. I think I've seen, I've worn them quite a lot on my story and every single time I wear them on my Instagram story, someone DMs me asking for the link because they're so comfortable and so pretty. They do have some other colors and I don't know if this exact color is still in, um, in stock in every size, but I know they again have other colors. And I love the waffle and in general, they're just doing really well with their loungewear. They've really do dove into the whole like flare pant, yoga pant style. Um, and though I do laugh every time I see them called flare leggings because they're just yoga pants. 
they have a lot of options and in various materials. I also got another pair recently that are kind of like a blanket and they're incredible. I will be wearing them all of winter. It is not a secret that I've been loving Honor Active. Over the last few months, I've definitely been more making more purchases from there than from probably any other brand. Um, I love the material. I love what the brand stands for. And I just think they're doing really well in the fitness space. Now, not that the entire brand, it's not necessarily built around bodybuilding or, or like what not like a lot of other brands are kind of started from. They're all about honoring your body, moving your body, and they do show that to an extent. I mean, they have athletes, affiliates, whatever their terms are, in tons of shapes and sizes, which I love. I don't know if it's bad luck, but I'm putting it into the universe. I would love to work with this brand one day because I think their views and morals when it comes to fitness aligns a lot with mine. And come on, have you seen all these pictures? Their items are incredible. And they're not too costly compared to some other brands. There's kind of on par or even a little bit under what some other brands are and I do think the quality is definitely better than some very very major brands. All right that is gonna be it for this favorites video. I really really hope you guys liked it. If you did please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite item was. I'm always interested to hear what things that you guys do like that I, that I review. If there's other types of things that you'd want to see more of. I know I feel like I talk about clothes a lot when it comes to general reviews but let me know if you'd want to see more like fitness products and things like that i hope you found some things that you know are going to be nice for the kind of end of fall going into winter time period besides that i'm going to wrap it up and thank you guys so much for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and give it a thumbs up okay all right thanks goodbye